Hey everyone, thanks for joining us today. My name is Chris. I'm a herpetology keeper here at the Houston Zoo. And today we brought you inside our Galapagos tortoise exhibit to take a look at some of these awesome animals. So if you guys have any questions, make sure you go ahead and leave them in the comment section and we'll try to answer those to the best of our ability. Uh, what you're looking at now are two of our Galapagos tortoises. These guys are from the famous Galapagos Islands uh, on the coast of Ecuador in the Pacific Ocean. Galapagos tortoises are known for being the largest tortoise species in the world. These guys can get up to around 500 pounds. The ones in this exhibit are only about 200 to 230 pounds right now. So they're only about halfway grown, uh, but again, they are only 13 years old right now. So they still have a lot of time, a lot of growing to do. So what you're looking at right now, her name is Daphne. Uh, right next to her, you have Seymour, her sister. And right in front of her, you have Jervis, the, old, the larger brother. Jervis loves food, as they all do. And he is a bottomless pit when it comes to eating. These guys get fed a wide variety of diet here. Right now, we're feeding them some lettuce. They will also get carrots, sweet potatoes, zucchini, uh, but their staple is mostly hay that they get offered every day. <laughs> so if you guys enjoy what you're seeing right here, Eddie Feeding Tortoises, uh, you can also sign up for a tortoise tour. It's a paid experience that we do here at the Houston Zoo where you get to feed, pet, and hang out with some really cool herpetology keepers. So go ahead and go to HoustonZoo.org and sign up for your tortoise tour today. So right next to Jervis here, we have one of our two African spur-thighed tortoises. We have Bobby and Bubbles. I believe we have Bobby right in front of us. Uh, they get their name from the spurs on the back of their thighs. These guys are from Africa and they are really good at digging. They live in a drier climate and so Whenever it gets too hot, they will have to kind of burrow and escape the heat. So these guys are really good diggers. So if you look at the front feet of bubbles over here, you'll see that they have some really pronounced scales. And that does a couple of things. It helps them dig as well as it's added protection. When these guys get scared, they have a predator approaching. They will tuck into their shells and they will put those two armored feet in front of their face and it kind of adds the extra layer of protection. Remember guys, if you have any questions, just comment them in the comments below. So Stacy asks, do they bite? Uh, yes, all tortoises and turtles bite. Um, as you can see, they're chomping on their lettuce right now. Now, these guys aren't as powerful as maybe a alligator snapping turtle, uh, but they can put a lot of pressure on their lower jaws, and so they will, they will cause pain if you get bit. If you notice their mouth, they don't really have teeth. They have what's basically a beak, so they have a nice keratinized uh, beak at the end of those tips, and kind of like your fingernails, they will just regrow as they wear them down. Now this keratin is also found on the back of their shell, which is composed of an entirely keratin. And they can feel on the back of their shell. So if you pet them, they will be able to feel that. They have a lot of blood vessels underneath that shell uh, so they can feel sensation. Uh, it's kind of similar to rubbing the, your fingernail. They can feel all the pressures and sensations. So right now you're looking at Mr. and Mrs. Pickles. You got Mr. Pickles on the right and Mrs. Pickles on the left. So another question we have, how old are they and how did they get to the zoo? Uh, so right in front of you, Mr. and, Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Pickles. Uh, Mr. Pickles is around 88 years old. He is the oldest tortoise and probably animal at the zoo. Uh, Mrs. Pickles, she's about in her 50s, so a little bit younger. 
And we've had these guys since 1975, I believe, and they came from another zoo. Our African spur thigh tortoises, Bobby and Bubbles, they are around their 30s. They've been here since around 88. And our Galapagos tortoises, they are 13 right now. They're all siblings and they hatched out at Brownsville Zoo, so we know the exact age of these guys. So Sheila asks, how much do they weigh? So our Galapagos tortoises, they weigh anywhere from 200 to 250 pounds. Well, we believe the females are around 200. The male Jervis, he's probably pretty close to 230, 250. Our African spur thigh tortoises, they are around 100 pounds each. And then we have Mr. and Mrs. Pickles, our little baby radiated tortoises. Well, not babies, they're older, but they are around 20 pounds. They look like babies in this exhibit. So over here, we have Eddie petting the neck of one of our Galapagos tortoises. And what this is doing is actually creating a response that you'd see in the wild, but the response would be made from birds. So in the wild, finches from the Galapagos Islands will kind of poke at their neck and pick off little ectoparasites. And this creates a response in the tortoises where they stand straight up with their neck out and they let the bird do their job. So by kind of rubbing their necks, we can kind of recreate the same effect here. And Eddie's petting Daphne right now. Probably one of my favorite tortoises. When these guys are full grown, they don't really have many predators in the wild. Uh, when they're babies, they can get picked off by probably larger birds, hawks. Um, but their biggest threat in the wild right now is they are endangered. Is pretty much habitat loss. Um, in the last 180 years, sailors would visit the islands and they would take these tortoises off the islands and use them as food. And there was a long history of that depleting the tortoise population on the Galapagos Islands. So Eddie's gonna feed these guys some browse. These are plants that are grown here at the Houston Zoo from our horticulture department. This is a type of hibiscus grown right here on ground. We feed these out occasionally. And again, if you are interested in doing a tortoise feeding, go ahead and visit the Houston Zoo website and you can purchase your feeding tour today. And remember, every time you visit the zoo, and when you purchase an animal experience, you are helping to save animals in the wild. We have conservation partners on the Galapagos Islands and they do everything from education, research, as well as raising and propagating uh, Galapagos tortoises. So if you guys are just tuning in, we are live inside the Galapagos tortoise exhibit. Right now we're feeding our Galapagos tortoise, our African spur thigh tortoises, and two of our radiated tortoises. Right now you're looking at our Galapagos tortoise, Daphne. So one of the questions is, what does their diet consist of and how often do they eat? So in the wild, these guys would be eating a lot of grasses, a lot of leafy foliage, um, as well as whatever's fruiting. Uh, here in captivity, we try to recreate some of that. We give them a lot of hay. We give them a lot of browse. We'll give them cactus pads and we'll give them carrots, sweet potatoes, zucchinis, and they get fed pretty much a little bit of something every day. They have access to hay every day. And then every now and then we'll give them something like lettuce for a treat. You guys
guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below. And we'll try to answer those to the best of our ability. So one of the questions is how can we help save these guys in the wild? Uh, once again, every time you guys visit the Houston Zoo, you are saving animals in the wild. A lot of the proceeds here go to our conservation partners in the Galapagos. Um, but basic things, the Galapagos are a chain of islands in the ocean, so make sure you recycle, make sure all the trash makes it to the trash can. <laughs> and let's try to keep our oceans clean. If you guys are really interested in the Galapagos Islands, uh, you'll be in luck because we are going to be opening our new Galapagos Islands exhibit here next fall in 2022. And so our Galapagos tortoises will get a brand new large exhibit and we'll have other species from the Galapagos Islands there as well. We got Jervis on the right eating. He's our largest Galapagos tortoise in here. He's our big male, and he's around 230, 250 pounds. One of the questions we have is do they grow this big in the wild? Uh, yes, they do. They can get up to 500 pounds in the wild, so they'll actually get twice this size when they're full grown. Uh, these guys are still young. They're only 13 years old. They still have a lot of growing left to do. So Katie asked, can they fully leave their shell? Uh, it's a good question, but no, tortoises cannot leave their shell. Their shell is attached to them. Their shell is made up of their spine and their ribs. Um, so the shell grows as they grow with them. They're not like some crustaceans that can, you know, leave and enter new shells. So Amanda asks if, do they see in color? Uh, yes, they have pretty decent vision. They can see in color and that helps them to identify all the flowering fruits that are available on the island. All right, everyone, thank you guys for joining us. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, follow the Houston Zoo, and tune in next Wednesday at 11 a.m.